is taking something that's designed to take life and something that's designed to give life. It's a solution aimed at ending a cycle of pain for communities grappling with gun violence. And tonight, that solution came to Champaign. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. A coalition of faith leaders says it's going to take a lot of work to end gun violence across the country and in central Illinois. But they say you have to start somewhere. WCI3's Chance Sticklin is with us now. And Chance, one of the solutions here is unique. Yeah, Jess, that is completely right. It's unique because they're taking gun parts and turning them into garden tools. Tonight was their first event, and it was a way to bring the community together and eventually reach victory over violence. It's a good opportunity to, for people to make small steps that can turn into big steps. Those big steps have already started. More than 20 organizations have teamed up with a company called Raw Tools. They gathered at the Randolph Street Community Center Garden in hopes of making a change. One pastor says events like these give people a glimmer of hope, and he wants to see the neighbors rally together. I want to see people living uh, healthy, long lives, kids uh, playing in the streets and not worrying about, uh, you know, some random car driving by and they or their friend getting shot. That, that's what I want to see. But he's not the only one looking to bring change to the community. Mike Martin is in the blacksmithing business and works with raw tools. He brought his talents to central Illinois and gave a demonstration on how he turns old gun parts into gardening tools. We're taking something that has harmed communities, gun, gun violence, and we're, we're not just destroying that tool, but we're creating a new tool at the same time that grows food for a local community here um, to help us live. People in attendance who had been directly impacted by gun violence got an opportunity to create a garden tool, just one way to connect the community to the solution. Don Blackman, outreach pastor and steward at the garden, says one person can start the job, but it takes a community to reach the goal. But when you add all of the people who are here today and all of the different organizations, I think that we would be able to make the change that we need to see in our society. Martin's call to action came after the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, but that's not all that motivates him. My wife is an elementary school teacher, and it's something that galvanized not just us, but a lot of our people around the country to start doing whatever they thought they could to help reduce gun violence. Tonight's event was one of four events happening over the next couple of days. Jess, back to you. All right, Chance, thank you. The next events include a community circle and peacemaking training tomorrow morning. There's a block party tomorrow afternoon and a self-care community repair wellness fair on Sunday. All of those details about times and locations can be found on WCIA.com.